Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And in today's video, I wanted to report this information to you guys because this may be the main reason why Deutsche Telekom would like T-Mobile to merge with another company. So as most of you know, Deutsche Telekom's core profit growth comes from T-Mobile US. Now for this year, as the numbers currently stand, T-Mobile's outlook on earnings for 2017 is set to slow down by 50%. Now, Deutsche Telekom is not happy about that at all. Right off the bat, in my opinion, I think I think they're jumping to conclusions too soon. I think going into Q2, Q3, I think John and his team and, and their marketing strategy, I think they can pick it up. Also, as the network expands into other markets, I think growth will pick back up on the subscriber side and also on the earnings side as well. Now, I'm just saying that being that, you know, prior years, they have done really well. So I think they can pick it up again. A lot of analysts are questioning what else can they possibly offer. They have T-Mobile Tuesdays. They're doing really good value on their deals as well. So, <clears throat> but I definitely see them coming out with another uncarrier going into Q2. John recently reported that he's up to something big. That uncarrier move might be announcing the merger. You know, who knows? But this is definitely concerning for Deutsche Telekom. Deutsche Telekom in Germany hasn't been doing too well. They have been struggling as well over the past few years, and they are now also getting back to growth. So T-Mobile slowing down by 50% would hurt their operations quite a bit. They have been absorbing some of T-Mobile's debt as well. So they have been funding T-Mobile quite a bit. So that that is really good to see. So Deutsche Telekom is doing the complete opposite from SoftBank. SoftBank has not been pouring any money back into Sprint. Deutsche Telekom has been trying to help T-Mobile. You know, money for the auctions, money for the debt. So definitely, I do think they're jumping to conclusions too soon. I think T-Mobile will rebound off of this, especially now with the gigabit LTE speeds coming available. The 600 megahertz is already being tested, so the equipment's ready. They're going to deploy that into Montana, South Dakota, North Dakota. Then they got more markets there that they can grow in. They're also growing their retail base. They're coming out with more stores. So I think just a little too soon, jumping to conclusion, but they might you know you never know they might slow down quite a bit a 50 percent drop in earnings is, is harsh so definitely i would be concerned as well so let me know in the comment section down below do you think t-mobile can rebound from this do you think they will offer some more aggressive deals going into q2 i do definitely see that happening as the competition grows and it gets bigger with the unlimited side so definitely uh, very interesting times. I do also see them announcing a merger really soon. Uh, we have 14 days left until the uh, 600 megahertz auction is officially out, put out by the FCC. And then we'll see what carrier got what slice. It is rumored that T-Mobile got a 15, 15 by 15 megahertz for the download and upload nationwide. That would really, really help them out a ton. So definitely... Really good times at T-Mobile. Also, I just found this out the other day. I just wanted to throw this out there. If John Legere sees this merger through and they merge with another company, he is set to be paid out $65 million. So at that point, he's a businessman. He's done all he can do. He's proven that he turned T-Mobile around. They're back at growth. They moved into the third spot. So at this point, once the merger happens, we might see John Legere just take his money and, and retire. So it's definitely going to be very interesting how this plays out. Just wanted to throw that out there. A $65 million payout for John Legere if he sees this merger through. So definitely very interesting to see who would run the company in the future if a merger does happen. So definitely exciting times. So definitely give these videos a thumbs up. It keeps me motivated. It keeps me going. Like, share, subscribe. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.